Good day guys, welcome to another episode of Too Hungry Dinner. It's me Peter and Oni. We are going to Austra a restaurant called Australian Dairy Company for to have a breakfast. It's still early in the morning but we can see there is a line in there. I'm hoping this one is quite good. The review is good. We are waiting for a taxi okay. and taxi waiting for us. <laughs> it's quite weird. So what are we gonna have in here? A scrambled egg sandwich. Scrambled egg sandwich, a macaroni soup. Yes. It's on the menu as well. Australian Dairy Company is located. Um, oh, yeah, this is Okay. An uncle just screaming <laughs> to everybody who blocks the, the, the road. By the way guys, this restaurant is located um, in Jordan, which is very close to Jordan Station. So probably just a, like a two minutes walk from the C2 exit. And if you see the line, it's probably the Australian Dairy Company. It's okay. actually ex Australia Dairy Company, not Australian. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Australia, Australia Dairy nothing to do with Australia, it's just a name that the owner chose. Oh really? <laughs> I thought the owner is Australian. No, not at all. No. Okay. <laughs> is fortunately it's very quickly it's moving very quickly which is good so we don't need to wait for hours and I heard the average spending time here for tourists is like half an hour but for the Hong Kong people itself is like only 15 minutes because the service is very quick it's a, it's a fast paced uh, service so Hopefully it's pretty good for us, uh, the experience here. <laughs> So guys, we're finally inside of the restaurant, which is quite weird because um, we're sitting inside of this, like a little cubicle <laughs> that fits the three of us. In a way, it's a perfect, perfect table for us. Like, to shoot video. <laughs> because we don't share with everyone else, like any other uh, guests here. We're still waiting for the English menu. Hopefully, uh, they have the English menu here. Australia Dairy. Where's the company? Ah. Right. So, so guys, they do have a sign Australian Dairy Co. But because of the renovations outside, the sign is kind of covered by the bamboo uh, constructions. But they do have an English menu, which is quite good if you don't really speak or understand Cantonese or Mandarin. The service is really quick. By the time you order it, they come up right away. Yeah, I feel like it's less than less than one minute, and the food is here. Like all of our orders is here. Do you wanna mention what we order here? We order the the breakfast set. So our breakfast set comes with the choice of bread or toast, with the choice of uh, fried egg, fried egg or scrambled egg. So what we have here is the the most famous one, which is the scrambled egg with toast, um, with the butter. Of course, the thick slice of butter is uh, inside in the middle. Also, it comes with the macaroni soup with ham. This is the chicken based soup. And we order coffee as well as a coffee. part of the set. Yep. 
And for additional drink, I also ordered a Hong Kong style milk tea. The next set that we order is the tea set. Consists of the same thing, like the similar thing. The bread or toast with the scrambled eggs or the fried eggs. And also a choice of drinks, which is what we order is the fresh hot milk. The tea set doesn't come with the macaroni uh, soup. Yeah. And we also ordered this one, the... Steam egg whites? No, this is the steam milk. Oh, steam milk. This is the steam milk? This is what? The steam egg. Steam egg. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try the scrambled egg with the toast. What? Super good? I ever had in my life. It's very smooth. Comparable to Melbourne bread? No? What? The thing is, you cannot see the seasoning on top. Like, there is no like black pepper or salt. But it's actually very versatile. <laughs> yes, you have to try this. Have to order. Must have. In Hong Kong. Should I? Or maybe I'll try this one, the macaroni soup. So I'm gonna mix it with, I'll, I'll get a little bit of ham and the macaroni and a little bit of the broth as well. Mm. I think it's okay. It's, I don't know, nothing special about it. It's like macaroni boiling in a chicken soup and they put lots of slices of ham. Macaroni is alright. It's not very special, it's just a... Um, Comforting food. It's perfect when I think when you're sick and you're just lying on the bed and you're eating this, you, you won't be complaining about this like at all. I noticed they also put a little bit of the but butter on on the soup, so it's like becomes buttery and rich, which is good. Is it really that good? <laughs> try it. Try it. <laughs> See? See? I don't know. Uh, I don't know how they can make that. Like so the scrambled good. egg is silky, it's smooth, yeah. it's buttery, and flavorsome. It's flavorsome as well. Wow, that's wow. really special for for a restaurant like this in Hong Kong. Okay, I'm going to try the Hong Kong style milk. Let me give it a stir. So guys, we have a couple of cup of Hong Kong style milk tea, but so far it's eh. It's okay. It's okay. It's not too, it's not too sweet, and the the black tea is strong. It's victory from the black team. It's not bad as well. It's a bit on the sweet side, but it's okay. For the Hong Kong milk tea, you need, if you like sweet or tea, then you need to add your own sugar. They, they give the, the additional sugar on the table, so yeah, it's easy to control your sweetness. Did, should we order another one? Yes, please. This one? Yes. So guys, is it that good that we order another set? Not another set. Another portion of the scrambled egg and a toast with the butter. I'm going to try the uh, steam milk. That's the cold version, right? Yeah. yeah. It's quite sweet because I'm comparing with the um, steam milk that we had before, which is from the Yes Sun. Yes. Yes company. <laughs> Decent milk company. Yeah, decent milk company. Yeah. Uh, this one on the sweeter, more sweet. It's uh, sweeter than that. What one. about the textures and everything? The texture, uh, slightly different. 
This one's maybe is more like pudding. Not 100% jelly, it's like more like Indonesian style pudding. Right, okay. Yeah. The other one that we had before is more crumbly. It's more like curd. Right. This one's not like curd. Uh, I'm just gonna try it, guys. Big spoonful. As always. Mm. Still smooth. Yeah, it's. But, yeah, I prefer the other one. Better it's smooth and uh, it's quite sweet. Now we're gonna try the steamed egg, which is the hot one. The color is a uh, yellowy, yellow color. Although it's from the uh, egg yolk, the color. Let's try. Again, this is like a sweet dish. It's eggy, similar texture, but it's a bit runny. Not the runny, it's like more watery. I'm okay with this, like, not a big fan. You can test the egg and also the egg yolk. Again, big spoonful for me. Mm. If you like egg, you probably like fresh egg. Probably will like this so much. But I'm okay. I'm also okay. I mean, it's eggy. It's it's silky smooth as well. Um, it's quite sweet. Um, but there, again, there's nothing wrong with it. If you like your egg to be that way, then you probably like it. Out of the two of the steam, the steam milk and the steam egg, I probably prefer the steam egg. What do you reckon? 50-50. If you like egg, go with the uh, steam egg. If you like milk, more. With the milk. It's our second order for the stemo egg. This one is a little bit different serving. They put the toast at the bottom and the stemo egg on top. So guys, we just finished uh, having our breakfast at the Australia Dairy Company. We, are we ordered two, two? scrambling. <laughs> Actually three for three of us. Yeah. <laughs> three scrambled eggs with toast, which is oh, like next level scrambled eggs. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Do you want to give us a score? Even overall experience or just a specific? Maybe overall experience first. Overall experience, nice. Service is quick. You don't have to wait that long. Yes. Food is good, so I'm going to give it nine. The service and is the really quick. And scrambled egg, eleven out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the scrambled eggs probably it's 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 one of the best that we have so far. I think Can it's compare with the brunch menu in Australia. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> the scrambled eggs is, is really velvety, it's really um, smooth, buttery, it's flavorsome. I don't know, like we ordered two, that means something, right? <laughs> we definitely recommend this restaurant if you, it. if you have your more time. Right away when yeah, you just put <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you start planning to go to Hong Kong, just put in your list right away. Because this is breakfast, so it's really, it, it could fit you, to your itinerary quite. Yeah, good, I think. they open at 7 30 a.m. Yeah. Morning. So just remember they are located in Jordan, so you take the train 
the MTR, the Hong Kong MTR to Jordan, and then you take the C to exit, and then walk um, not not too far away actually from Only from the exit. Only one minute out of station. Yeah. So anyway, you see the light, the queue, then it then it is. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for this review guys. We highly recommend this restaurant. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button as well. So whenever we post a new video, you always get a notification of our latest video. And as always, stay, stay foolish, stay hungry.